on one of our previous videos, we helped this noob level 1 reach 2nd C, right? Then most of you commented, Gamer Nom, let's reach max level. So don't worry guys, here it is. We're gonna reach max level, but before that, you can use Starcode Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. And aside from that guys, shout out to these dudes. I Zero Gaming 2, Madiban, Anime Quirks, XX Savage Knight. They recognize my character in the public server. Again, shout out to you guys. So are you ready? Let's go. Where the actor slam oh, there it is. forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. First question, Gamer Nom, why is it update 2.17? It's already update 2.53. Guys, while I was recording this video, the update came out, so I decided to make videos about the update. Then after that, finish what I've started. This is period free, okay? Okay, so first up, we're gonna go back in the first C. Again, we're still level 1,500 because this is the area where we're gonna level up. So to start it off, we're gonna head to Zombie Island and we're gonna defeat zombies. So in this area, guys, aside from defeating the zombies, there's a chance that one of the members here or the players here will get an ore, okay? The dark ore wherein you will summon ores, but before that, zombies, you need to defeat five, guys. They spawn really, really fast. So if you are good in luring and defeating mobs, then leveling up here will be really, really easy and fast. As I was talking a while ago, guys, if someone is defeating the Shadow Master, there's a chance that it will drop an ore that can summon ores. There you go. So when we defeated it, I level up 3 times, not bad, and it will also give you extra money, okay? And the goal here for the zombies and the ores is to reach level 1600, and after that you can start defeating the Shadow Master. Guys, the technique here is to just stay airborne the whole time if you can do that. Because if you're touching the ground, the damage of Shadow Master is really really good, okay? Don't worry, I'm gonna show you the trick. So here we go. So guys, first, just jump. Just jump, okay? There you go. Is your B skill jump? Okay. Is your V skill? Your X skill and use your cloud ride. And that's it guys. The goal here is to reach level 800 and after that you can now go to the war island. At level 1800, defeat the rear admirals. We just lure them again, you need to defeat 6. So 2 sets. Yes, 2 sets of mobs, rear admirals. There you go. Use your fire pillar as your main damage. And if it's not enough, use your flamethrower. There you go. You're gonna do this until you reach level 1850. After that, you can proceed to the next mob, which is, here you go, the true karate fishman. At again 1850, it is easier compared to the previous one because you don't need to lure. Three skills, fire pillar, Thunderbolt and flamethrower is enough. There you go. The goal here is to reach level 1925 and after that you can defeat the Quake Woman. Our goal level here is to reach level 2050. It's easy to defeat. She is easy to defeat, sorry. Go. How about the Wave Gamer now? We can tank it, guys. Our defense is strong enough and if you're wondering the stats, max power fruit 600 melee and put all your remaining stats on your defense until you max it out, okay? So for the next island, we have the Fishland. We're just gonna defeat three mobs here, and we're gonna start with a Combat Fishman. So again, he's easy to defeat. Just combo him with your Fire Pillar, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, and if you want, you can use your Fire Pillar again or your Thunder. Okay, there you go. You're gonna do this until you reach level 2100, and after that, we're gonna proceed to the Sword Fishman. Is he called the Sword Fishman? Yeah, the Sword Fishman. There you go. At 2100. Guys, he's easy to defeat. Again, same with the Combat Fishman. So is there a faster way to level up here, Gamer Nom? Yes. After you defeat the Sword Fishman, go to the Combat Fishman. And after that, go to the Sword Fishman. And defeat them simultaneously. Until you reach level 2200. And start defeating the Seasoned Fishman. Gamer Nom question. Will I get hit? Yes. So make sure to use your Observation Hockey. But guys, you're strong enough. At this level, you can tank its damage, so yeah. If you lose all your Observation Hockey, lose your HP, then just reset. But guys, it's very easy to defeat. And our goal here is to reach level 2350, okay? Again, 2350. If you're having a hard time, go back to the Sword Fishman. 
and level up there until you reach level 2300 and the remaining 50 do it with a seasoned fishman okay so when you reach level 2350 we can now go back to the second sea well check that out guys <laughs> a phoenix coffin boat user well anyway time to head back to the second sea and we're gonna start in the second sea with the snake man at 2350 again we skipped a quest so there you go guys is it easy to defeat same with the seasoned fishman you need more than one combo to defeat this but it's fine guys again just a reminder i did this in the public server to show each and everyone that it is possible to reach max level in the public server check that out guys bounty hunters everywhere but guys since you're in the second sea aside from defeating mobs you can also defeat monsters such as this one the sea king sea beast guys you can level up really really fast with this so every time that you have a chance to defeat this go for it check it out after we defeat one see that eight level ups that's really really fast and you can get a fruit and gem okay so back to the snake man our goal here is to reach level 2500 so 150 level ups oops sorry bro okay next up the violet samurai 2500 don't worry about the location of the mobs they're easy to locate okay again more than one combo but if you think this one is doable just make sure to turn on your observation aki the whole time there you go the goal here is to reach 2550 guys and after that you can now go to the rabbit man at 2550 there you go same with the violet samurai it's easy to defeat another 50 level ups here and after that our next target is the batman shout out to all batman fans out there and the batman something like that guys so here we go we're leveling up with the batman but there's always a bounty hunter let's call them the joker <laughs> here we go we're gonna defeat the batman but let me give a shout out to this dude there you go it's sans underscore joker he defeated me while grinding shout out to you enjoy the bounty have a great day okay again our goal here is to reach level 2650 and after that we're gonna proceed to the next mob the kitsune samurai so is it easier to defeat gamer nom sadly no <laughs> so you're gonna use your observation hockey use your combo not just once there's a chance that you're gonna use it twice but is there a faster way to level up yes Aside from the sea beasts, you can also defeat Kaido. Yes, Kaido. Guys, if the sky gets dark, go to Sky Island. Just by defeating this, I gained 13 levels. Guys, 13 levels. And there's more guys. When something like this appears in the chat box, a monster has returned. Go to the Loaf Island, the final island in this update, Second Sea. And you will fight Big Mom. Big Mom, there you go. So if you're watching One Piece, that's her. When I first tried it, I leveled up from 2810. I gained 19 level ups. 19 guys, 19, that's a lot. And aside from that, I got the Phoenix Blade. Such a lucky account, guys. Lucky account. Now, going back to the Kitsune Samurai, we're gonna level up here until we reach 2850. Okay, that's a lot, guys. So after that, we're gonna go to Karsir and start defeating the Bear Man. Again, this mob is tanky, so guys, if you have a chance to defeat the Sea Beast, Kaido, Big Mom, go for it. I'm telling you, that's a lot faster in a way. If you want, you do server hop. But guys, if you want to level up, focus here. Grind, 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 okay? So next up, when you reach level 2,900, our next target is this area, Torifasho. Okay, so at Torifasho, you're gonna start defeating the Patchy Woman at 2,900. Guys, this Patchy Woman is kinda hard to defeat because she keeps on teleporting when she is within range and I don't like that because we're gonna costing skills, right? So again, make sure to use your Observation Hockey, save to the nearest spawn point and every time you defeat one, you're just gonna reset, okay? The so goal here is to reach level 2,950 but wait gamer no. You forgot something, yes, the strongest swordsman. If something flashes in the chat box, something like this, oh, the strongest swordsman is back. Go to the castle and defeat him. Four extra levels. Me, I level up three times here. Okay, back to the patchy woman. There you go. You're gonna level up here until you reach level 2950. We're almost there, guys. Just focus. 
at 2950, we're gonna head to Virijans and defeat Kappa. So this is a lot easier compared to the Patchy Woman. There you go, just one B, V, C, and X skill or another B skill, that's enough. We're gonna defeat this until you reach level 3000. Okay, so at 3000, we're gonna start attacking the Mammoth. He is located here, just nearby. There you go, the Mammoth Man. There you go, again at 3000. We're gonna defeat him. Same goes with the Kappa. Just B, V, C, B again, and I think that's enough. If not, use your flamethrower, etc. So again, when you reach level 3075, we're gonna head to the Skull Island. I have a tip here, guys. Make sure to grind the public server. Just type, guys, let's grind ores. Okay, because again, if you get ore, you can summon Kaido. So everyone will try to help you. There's a chance that you can summon Kaido and your level up will be faster, okay? Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 3225. And after that, final island, the Loaf Island. We're gonna start here with the Sunken Vessel. Actually guys, you can just defeat the Sunken Vessel or next stop the Biscuit Man until you reach max level. There's no difference. But if you want to unlock the scarf and other accessories, so defeat all of the mobs here until you get them, okay? But for the sake of finishing, uh, by defeating mobs, you're gonna level up here until you reach level 3250. Here is the location of the Biscuit Man. There you go. Okay, it's easy to defeat, don't worry. Again, one combo and one B skill. There you go, one extra B skill and that's enough. Again guys, you can level up here until max level, but if you want, you can go to the Dome Master to get the Scarf. Or I have a suggestion, we have the latest update, right? The Halloween update. And with that, there is an event, a limited event, meaning after that you won't be able to get it. Yes, we, there is a new island, the Halloween island, and in every server, every 3 to 6 hours, Jack Lantern a level 10,000 boss is being summoned. So as you can see, our level is 3,296 and by just defeating it once, I'm going to show it to you, see that we've reached max level, okay? Okay, so that's my suggestion and that's it for the video. We've reached 3,300 max level spirit fruit. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out.